Hello you guys, it's gonna be more than a one take today. Shapras, shapras. It was a good day at work, I started at nine o'clock. Actually, here's my, my woeful story. So, on my, on the Sunday, so I, I go to work Saturday night on night shift and I come home and it's con considered a day off that I get paid for Sunday. But I finished at six in the morning so it's technically really not a day off. Anyway, I asked Emily if she could please wake me up at 12 p.m so that I didn't get too much sleep and so I could sleep soundly on Sunday night. Anyway, for whatever reason, she misinterpreted that and woke me up at 2 p.m. and it was far too much sleep. It means I had seven hours of sleep when I was only supposed to have about five to make me really tired. I ended up going to sleep at 10 p.m. last night and being wide awake by 2 a.m. I was fucking so, so annoyed. I was like, damn it, I'm not gonna be able to sleep now. I ended up not being able to sleep until 5 a.m. this morning and slept till Eight. so I've got seven hours of broken sleep but I feel pr quite good despite that um, and then I went to work so my shift today was a really good one it's one we don't get often it gives us a bit of a chance to catch up with our work and square things away and do a lot of the paperwork and stuff like that so I did that and I didn't get as much done as I thought I would or as I wanted to but it's always difficult for me personally when there's a lot of people around and when um, I'm obviously just coming off night shift and I didn't sleep well and all that sort of stuff. It is what it is. One more shift tomorrow and thankfully it doesn't start till 2pm. So I get to sleep in tomorrow. Emily and I went to CrossFit for our third class tonight. Wait, third class? Second class. Second proper class. Um, technically the intro session doesn't count. So there was a lot of squat snatches tonight and that, that's such a difficult movement. It's very natural. But it's also, there's was a lot of moving parts to put together. I was doing it. How many, do you know how many kilos those bars are we were using? Are they the 10 kilo ones or the 15? 15. They are the 15, are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? Because uh, the 10 kilo ones were the little training bars with the little weights on the end. Nah, I don't think so, honey. Yeah. I think, nah. I think, I no. There are, there are 10 kilo ones, 15 kilo ones, and 20 kilo ones. I know which ones you're talking about, but that's not it. There are 10 kilo ones that don't have any weight on them. Okay, I thought those were the 15 kilo ones. No. The 15 kilo ones are small like that, but um, they, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I think I was using about, at, at one point, if, they're, if it's 15 kilos, I was using 25 kilos. If it's 10 kilos, I was using 10, 20 kilos. Um, but then I ended up, for my working sets, I only had two and a half kilos on either side of the bar. So I was either using 15 or 20 kilos. I don't know what. Um, their collars are really annoying, like the things that you hold the weights on with. Because they've got the old school ones that you press the press it together and it sort of like squeezes around the bar. It takes so long to get on. But anyway, so I will actually read the workout. I'm going to start doing this because now I'm a crossfitter. And thankfully for you guys, I only go three times a week at this point. So... Today's workout of the day was workouts. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hold up. I love how it works everything. I always feel so tired. So the beginning was our skills slash strength session, which was um, 10 sets of snatch, pull, power snatch, squat snatch. I was not doing it like that. Um, I've got to pay more attention next time. But I still got lots of practice in and it was good. And then was the workout of the day, which was four minutes AMRAP, as many reps as possible, or as many sorry rounds as possible for this one. We did 10 ball balls at one point. I was doing it with four kilos. I managed to smash myself in the, in the face with my ball, my medicine ball. Thankfully, it didn't crack my teeth or anything like that. And then 10 box jump overs. That was impossible for me. I ended up, from the beginning, just stepping on it and stepping over. It was tough, but... Really good workout. I also forgot to start my watch for the workout, so I got ripped off in terms of like my work out. And then after that was two minutes rest, and then another four minutes, as many rounds as possible, of five squat snatches. Um, women were supposed to try and do it with 40 kilos. That's, I'm gonna be a while off that. And then 10 burpees. The burpees almost murdered me. Um, side note, when I do my Spartan, later this year in November, if I can't do any given obstacle, I have to do 30 burpees. So hopefully my strength increases a lot doing CrossFit. Um, and then after that was 
10, sorry, two minutes of rest and then another four minute and as many rounds as possible of five thrusters. Once again, they wanted us to do 40 kilos. Never gonna happen. Well, not for a while anyway. And then 10 calories of a row bike ski or run 100 meters. So, I can log your results on that app. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to start um, sort of paying a little bit more attention to what I do when I'm in the class so that I can keep a log of it because I'd like to see how far I progress and all that sort of stuff. At the moment, I'm not paying as much attention. But anyway, for the the first AMRAP, this is gonna go forever. I did, I managed, because I started with the wall balls, I managed to do three sets of the wall balls and two of the box jumps. And then for the second bit, with the squat snatches, I think I managed to do two sets of the squat snatches and then two sets of the burpees. And then I think I did a couple more squat snatches, three more before the round was over. And then with the thrusters, I managed to row 10 calories twice and do the thrusters maybe three times. So, and that once again was with about 20, 15 or 20 kilos. But yeah, I'll film more later. I'm rambling at that CrossFit. Expect it to continue. <laughs> I love it. I feel so happy and accomplished. It's amazing. Boy, oh boy, it's becoming increasingly difficult to have cold showers. <laughs> um, it's getting so cold. It's, I guess, almost officially winter. It's the 27th of May today, so winter's not far at all. Um, it feels good to be reaching my step goals and stuff because of the CrossFit. Uh, <laughs> Good. I'm still feeling elated. My body's still sore. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow and assess how, much, how many DOMs I have, how much DOMs I have. Um, I think I want to try and run tomorrow regardless. If I don't run, I'll cycle. Um, I don't really feel like running before work, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, it's all about getting that time in, getting those miles in, those kilometres. I think I'm a little bit worried to run because I know I'll be slow and people at work will see it but fight through that shit because none of it matters. I've decided to return a book that I've been listening to for almost three hours just because I'm not enjoying it. I wish I'd return it sooner but I can't change it now. I'm now listening to Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow. Um, it's pretty good so far. It's an award winning book. It's one I've wanted to read for a while so it should be good. Um, Anyway, I think maybe Oprah's book will be next after that. And I also bought a Special Forces book last night when I woke up randomly at 2 in the morning and couldn't get back to sleep. So I'll read that today as well. Um, I think that's all I have to say for tonight. I'm fucking wrecked in the best way possible. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.